Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the channel where we build together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this series, we're going to be building the Ukrainian Dream from our friends over at Metal Time. Now, if you've supported this project and you're now holding this in your hands, you're probably looking at it and going, oh man, what did I get myself into? Don't worry, we're going to be building every piece together part by part and hopefully be able to get everything working as well as that nose cone uh, to open up perfectly as well. The question is, how well will this kit go together? What tools are we going to need and uh, will that mechanism actually work? These are all great questions. Let's get down to the workbench and open up our package. And boom, there we have it. Everything that comes in our Ukrainian Dream Kit from Metal Time. There's quite a lot here. Starting off with our metal, you can see it comes in this really nice accordion file here and all the sheets are labeled uh, one through five. And we also have an interesting little uh, brass piece here. Let's see if I can get it out and show you what it looks like. This piece here is pretty flimsy. You're gonna have to be careful while handling it. Uh, even myself pulling it out there, I've almost uh, bent apart there. Now putting this one back, it's the kind of metal it is really. Put that back in there. The other metal here feels a little bit thicker. So I think this will build very nicely. Okay, let's put this back inside here. There we go, we'll put this down. Next up, we have a certificate of appreciation. If you don't know, some of the proceeds of this kit are going to the rebuilding of the AN-225, as well as the training and housing of the pilots that are gonna be flying it. So that's a pretty cool thing, and I think it's really neat that Amel Time is giving you this little certificate here. Next up, we have our instructions. These instructions uh, aren't as thick as I thought they were going to be. They're actually a lot thinner, and I'm sure you're looking at them too going the same thing. Overall, they look like they're pretty basic metal time instructions, but they do have some really clear diagrams as well as some really nice green arrows as well, kind of showing you where everything goes and also suggesting how the tab should be bent. Very interesting, especially around that mechanism there. I can't wait to get started on this. Let's put this down here and continue on. Next up, we have our Metal Time Workshop card. Now, this is an ID card that we can go online, sign up with our individual kit here, and we can win all kinds of prizes and be subject to all kinds of future giveaways and stuff. So definitely get yourself registered if you've bought one of these kits. It's worth doing. Putting that down here. And next up, we get some tools. Now, the tools we get in this kit are some pliers, just some mini guys here. We also get a rasp. Now, I'll explain how we're going to use this a little bit later, but it's always good to see one of these in these kits. Next up, we have a nice little polishing cloth. This is great at the very end of our model. If we have any kind of fingerprints from us fiddling around, we can clean them up with this little guy here. Next up, we get a stamp. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit more about this later, but I just want to show you guys the artwork really quickly on this. It looks really awesome. Again, I'll explain all about this in a moment here when we have a little bit more time together, but really cool stuff. Next up are our white gloves. I might switch my uh, black ones out for these guys here. These are great for handling your model after it's built or while you're building it, if you want to avoid putting fingerprints all over that nice shiny finish. Next up, we have our gears as well as our spring and pen. Look at all of these really neat things here. There's so many of them. I think this is probably the most I've ever seen in any one of our builds. This looks super intense, but really cool. I mean, just look at how this whole thing is laid out here. And uh, yeah, that pen is absolutely massive, especially when we compare it to some of the other ones here on our jacket. But before we can even worry about that, we gotta build this because we can't wear this until we actually get the whole thing constructed. So let's put that back in its nice little spot and uh, look at it for later. Lastly, we have some interesting stickers. Now these stickers actually don't look like they've really changed from the first generation, except this one here has of course the uh, UFOs on it, as well as some of the other newer models. So yeah, actually they have changed. Very cool, very neat. I love how they have the first gen here too, pretty cool stuff. All right, now that we've gone through our entire kit, 
We need to talk tools. What tools are we gonna to need to put this whole thing together? Let's get started with the ones that come with the kit. First up, we have our pliers here. These are very useful for forming all of our different pieces and should be pretty much everything we really need to get this thing done, except for some cutters, which I'll speak about in a moment. These are useful and definitely something you wanna keep around. Next up, we have a rasp. Now a rasp is used actually in conjunction with some cutters, which are not included in the kit. You could use your pliers to get your parts out. It's just a little bit messier than using a nice pair of cutters. These cutters here are a little bit overkill. Any basic pair of cutters will work as long as they have a really nice point and a flush edge there. That's important because we want to get the littlest nub as possible. That way we don't have to do too much filing with our rasp. This is by far the least favorite part of the entire model for me, sitting there filing away. So I like to have my parts as clean as possible and that's why I use a nice pair of flush cutters. Next up, we have a couple of different pairs of pliers. First up, I have these little guys here. They're a little bit stubbier. These are great for grabbing really thick pieces of metal and helping me shape them, or grabbing multiple tabs at the same time and twisting them. I don't know if I'll necessarily need them for this particular build, but I'll have them around just in case. Another one will be these long pliers as well. And I should mention with both of these sets here, neither one of them have teeth. These are kind of hard to find. You do need to look at your hobby store, but I'll also include some links down below, which will be affiliate links so you can pick them up if you're interested. These guys here, because of their really nice long point, make it easier for us to be able to grab longer pieces and shape them correctly. It also makes it easier for us to be able to reach into the build and grab some of the tabs that might come loose while we're shaping the whole thing together. Next, we have a tool that I'm not necessarily sure we're going to need, but I'm gonna mention anyway. This is a fonded tool, and when used in conjunction with a mouse pad like this, it makes it really nice for us to create a curved edge. I think this might be great for our nose, but I'm not entirely too sure, so I'm gonna keep it out just in case. Finally, we're gonna be using a Bender 1.0 tool. Now, I no longer sell this tool at the moment because I'm looking at actually upgrading it, and once I release the next version of this tool, everyone who's purchased this from me in the past will actually get a discount code for 50% off of the new one, like I promised before. This little tool here is great for helping us shape different kinds of parts that might have details already attached to them or helping us create unique shapes that we wouldn't necessarily be able to do with a pair of pliers. Now, I think that this might come in handy for us in a couple of different areas. So again, like our little fonted tool, I'm gonna keep it handy. All right, that pretty much covers all of our tools that we're gonna be using for this build. Let's go ahead and get out our first couple of pieces. And boom, just like that, we have all of our pieces needed for the first couple of pages. I went ahead and actually cleaned them all up as well. It's a pretty boring part to see me sit there and just kind of rasp away. But it is really important to make sure that all of our parts are super smooth. We don't want any of these things being caught, especially when we're talking about the gears. I didn't expect to immediately jump into gears, but nevertheless, here we go. Are. Let's go ahead and grab our first little bit of gears here. Let's grab this here. First, we'll get our base piece, and then we're gonna get our little smaller pieces here. I believe this goes like this. It appears that these are just a tad bit too, um, a tad bit too big. So I'm gonna try to cut off just a little edge there on either side. Huh. Okay, well I guess I have to doctor a few more pieces here before I get started. Uh, let's cut these guys down just a little bit here. I, I wonder though, let's put this aside real quickly and see if we're gonna have the same problem with our next one. 
and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit worried now. Uh, I wonder if the tolerances on this were a little bit low. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, no, it looks like it's unfortunately all of them. Um, that's really too bad. That's really too bad. Okay, so we're gonna have to uh, make some little arrangements here. Let me see if I can work this a little differently. Let's take off a little bit off the top here. Okay. That should be enough. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you do have to doctor these just a little to get them in the right place. That's a pain in the butt, but I guarantee these guys will fix that in future kits. So if you're following along in the future here, you're probably not gonna run into this whole issue that I ran into right now. Okay. All right. Woo, we got that one in. Wow, that was a pain in the butt, but we did it. This is why I said the first thing right off the bat, we're working on gears, which is pretty much, you know, baptism by fire. Uh, let's go ahead and put this little gear in place and hopefully secure the majority of this whole structure. And uh, maybe we can even push it better into place once we get the gear in there. It should go something like this. Make sure all your little points there are feeding in the right place. Mine are not. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That was a struggle, but we did it. I'm very happy about that. There we go. I am super happy about getting that finally in there. That was a struggle. And if you struggled with me there, hey, I'm glad we both got it through. Now what we need to do is get this other little gear in place. Let's get that going. There we go all the way down there okay one two go to the back here again we're going to place it on the wide side and now we're going to bend these tabs flat and we're going to try to do that the best we possibly can so remember Super flat. That is amazing. Our first gear complete. A little bit of give, but not much. I think that should be okay though. I think that's supposed to be like that. Let's move on to our next one. Knowing that we have to cut everything, Okay, that was a little bit difficult, but still, we managed to get everything in place here. Now, the bigger gear goes on this little side here, and the smaller gears go on the back. Again, we're going to line up the longer side, which is this big piece, with the longer interior piece of the gear. There we go. There. Yeah, we got it. That's what it was. It was that little tiny edge. That was kind of holding me up on that one side. Okay, there we go, awesome. Now let's put this uh, through here as well. This one's gonna give me a little bit of a hard time too because that prong got a little bit bent out of shape. Nothing we can't fix though. Okay, did I get it? Yeah, you know I did. All right, now you think you're done, but you're not. You gotta get it all the way down here and uh, you gotta work it sometimes. I'm pretty happy with this one up here. I probably should have secured that while it was there, but now I've already got this one working here. It's too late to turn back. Right, there we go. Excellent. Place this long side again. Just like that. Now let's secure these bad boys. Again, we're gonna try to keep these completely out of the way of the teeth super important but we also need to make sure that they're super tight so make sure you grab as much of the tab in your tweezers as possible before making any kind of bend that's super important 
and flush. There we go, excellent. No movement in our gears. That's another solid one done. Let's place it down. One more to go. Do you think that this one here is gonna have the same problems as the other ones? Well, we're gonna find out right now, aren't we? Okay, let's grab this guy right here. Looks like it goes right here. Oh, come on. Work with me. Do it for me. Yes! Yes! It worked! Okay, sweet. I didn't cut these. I didn't cut these. So it looks like this is really the first uh, two pieces there might be the problem. And I'm really... Oh, look at that. Yes! Okay. We're in business, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. That's so great. Okay. Now, uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just really happy that that was good. That's the only case. Looks like the first two pieces just had a little bit of a problem. I wonder how many other pieces we might run into that have that. It's very funny, you know, the last two big kits we've had have had issues like that. The one from the uh, Moyosaur, that big dragon, also had pieces like that in the first couple of, first couple of bits. Lay that flat like that. Excellent. There we go. Awesome. We got her in there. Okay. Now we can bend this down. Grab this last little tab here. Again, it's always super important to make sure you're bending these the opposite way. Now, is this a stable gear? It feels that way. And this also looks pretty good too. I'm actually really pleased with this so far. All right, now that we got these guys here, we need to move on to our next page. That's right, we completed our first page finally. That was a pretty big thing if you ask me. Now, uh, the next part involves the spring assembly. Now, the spring assemblies have notoriously been a little bit tricky and they have changed since the beginning of these models. Uh, but what we need to do first is grab this big kind of metal weight, if you will. Oops. And there it goes. Take our spring here, load her in just like that. And uh, now that we got this in place, we need to actually put it into our little assembly. Now for our assembly, we need to actually bend all of these tabs. It's really important that we get right up to the edge here before we bend anything. And we need to make sure that we're also extremely, extremely, accurate otherwise the spring won't open and the whole mechanism won't work this is the one time you want to take as much time as you need to make sure everything is bending just properly now i'm using these right here but you could also use the bender 1.0 tool and to get this little guy in the center i feel like this is just a little bit too big let me grab these guys then Who knew the ones that came with the kit were the proper tools to actually use? Go figure. I just had to feed that uh, top little tab here through the first part. And uh, what I'm going to do is assist with the bending down here. There we go. And now we should be able to line everything up. There we are. Okie oh, dokie. Now that we got these through, we need to do a quick little twist of all of these tabs. We're going to use this guy here because he's nice and flat. So here's a twist for you. And here's a twist for you, sir. And here's a twist for you, sir. There we go. Excellent. Caught in the middle there, but that cage is going nowhere. Now that we got this little guy here, we need to build our key which is made up of these little guys right here. Okay, now the big test is, will all this be the right size? Let's see here. Line everything up. The smooth side goes towards the back of our key. Uh, there's a little scratch there, let's do this. There we go, it went through, yes! No cutting of pieces. That's a great thing to be. Let's see. I'm using a little bit of force. 
It's a little tight, but I went in. Yes, there we go. We got it. I'm so happy right now. All right, now that we got this key in place, we need to uh, put one of these little crosses through or one of these little pieces like this. Let me see if I can get everything in here. I think the bigger piece goes like that. Make sure it goes all the way down. All the way. There we go. Woo ha Our key. Oh, you're still not all the way down. There we, we go. All the way down. The key. Now that we have the key, we can open this guy up on the back end here. Just like that. And now, boom. Yeah. We got her through. Now we need to place this guy. Thicker side like this. All the way down, just like that. Beautiful. Take this guy here. That looks pretty good, but uh, that weight actually doesn't belong there. We're gonna pull it back just about here and then I'm going to secure those little tiny teeth that you see on the key in place. We're gonna use these guys here to make sure that's done properly. This weight should now not slide all the way down. It should stop. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. Did it stop where I want it to though? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Now you can see there's these little tiny tabs that we have to secure to make sure this thing doesn't move around. I think these guys might be a little trickier than uh, normal to get, but nevertheless, let's take a stab at it. The first thing I'll do is secure these by pressing down on one edge. And like that. Arrgh. There we go. Okay. I mean, that's about as secure as it's gonna get there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too confident about that particular piece. It's being held on with very thin pieces of metal. Nevertheless, it is complete. And uh, we can do a nice little rotation. And it goes back. Look at that. I love it so far. It does such a good job. Now we need to move on to the next piece of our mechanism. And this is probably the most important piece of the entire thing. These guys right here control and grab the gear and allow for the whole mechanism to work. I cannot understate this. Do not warp these pieces. If you warp these pieces, they're very hard to get back to normal. And uh, I'm actually going to use the pliers that come with this to shape this piece right now. But again, I can't understate this. Double check the instructions. Listen to me when we're building this so that you don't mess this particular step up. Now with this piece here, I can see I've already orientated to the instructions and we need to bend the tab back here first. And we're gonna do just a little tiny bend here. So again, just grabbing a tip, bringing it down just like that. And that's what we want, just a little tiny bend. And even that might be too much. Uh, we're gonna find out a little bit later. I really hope that I got that right though. And um, again, we're just referencing the tabs. I'm gonna go over here. And again, bending that down. I'm really trying to replicate the same on both sides, okay, that's important. Now we got that one here, we can do this one here. You can see this one has two dots, this is the opposite side. And again, make sure you orientate this to the proper and part of the instructions. You'll see there's no dots on this side, there's dots on this side. Now we're gonna grab this little tab here, same thing as before, just bend it back like that so I can grab the gear. Again, same thing on the other side. Grab a little piece, bend it back, boom. Now that we got these guys, we can actually put everything onto the key. Again, make sure we're putting this in the proper place before we go too far. Uh, the double dots are gonna go on first, thick side first as well. 
That's about as far as you're gonna go, I think. Okay, put what I think is a spacer, I guess, in here. Big gear. And now the last gear. And we're gonna make sure that uh, we follow this to the best of our ability. I think it goes on like this. Now with these tabs here, we need to make double sure that we secure them correctly. And I think these ones are actually secured with a kind of a J, if I'm not mistaken. So it means we're gonna actually do a small bend and then we're gonna secure that bend very tightly. So I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, now this gets secured a couple of different ways. First thing we're gonna do is just kind of grab this metal and we're gonna try to do a double bend here. We want a little bit of an arch situation because we really want to promote downward pressure on this gear okay so i'm going to do this and now that looks pretty good let's go back over to the other side here same thing again i'm kind of trying to promote a little bit of space between the edge and where i'm going there we go okay and now that we have that we need to take these uh, these little wings here and spread them out as well okay so I'll show you how we do that I want to kind of get in the middle here like this there we go now that we got that started bring in the big boys oh glove down glove down the first one of the build, too, I might add. But with that, we got our key on. Uh, looks like I need to secure the uh, tabs there are actually getting in the way of a perfect X. But overall, I am not complaining. That is very solid. A little bit of movement, but a little bit of movement's okay. There's that little wheel in there that's moving and allowing that to happen. Okay. Let's put this down for right now and build our little cage. This cage, I'm gonna make sure that we have this little area here nice and exposed. Like that, getting right to that edge and again, bending it down. There we go. A little bit more here. This guy gets secured in like this. Turn this guy back around here and now you can see that we have a little bracket that has some holes on it. This is where we're going to insert our gear starting with our first one right here. This one is going big guy, the thick guy in first, just like that. Hold him in place. Next up we have our thicker guy here with the two little stubbies on the end. Same thing with this. This one's gonna get inserted right here. And I'm assuming, yep, there we go. They're all gonna work together. Now that we know that, let's bend one side into place here. And we're gonna do that with our Bender 1.0 tool. Looks good here. I would actually bring it down just a little bit more, right about there, it's good. Okay, and we're gonna bring it up, just like that. Look at that, love it, I love that tool, it's one of my favorites, and I love the fact that I made it too, it makes it even that much better. Again, when you know how the tool uh, was meant to originally be used, with these bigger models like this, it's just a dream. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. Take that apart, slide the tool out, put this guy to the side, perfect square, like perfect square. And uh, now we can put those guys back in place and get this little guy ready to line up as well. Start with this right here, 
Now I'm going to leave one side open right now, and that's because we need to put everything in its place. So. Okay. Do a turn here. Do a turn here. Looking pretty good. One and two. Boom. That looks great. I love it. And it's all nice and secure. Let's see if we get some movement here. How well is the movement going? Ooh. Look at that! It moves so freely! It moves so freely! It's so beautiful! But uh, we still need a little bit more detail. Let's get to work with these guys here. Uh, these ones are pretty simple. We're basically just building a little cage using some of the details that we've gotten from before. Let's just do this real quickly here. Making sure that we keep the detail that we need to on the outside. That's very important looks like this and we have our centerpiece which is going to go right here what i'm going to go ahead and do is get this started by bending this back here we're going to connect this right here as well there we go Okay, slight bend on this piece here. And then these guys get bent down 90 degrees. I believe like this. I hope that's correct at least. Make that as uniform as possible. There we go. Let's see how we did. That's better. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Twist. And twist. And I'm following the instructions here, but I might have to come back a little bit later and actually bend all these tabs down. Let's do this. And like that. Excellent. We're going to just... Uh... Okay. And now we're going to grab our gear here. Place this right in the center like that. And now... Okay, I know that was a little bit jumpy, but I went ahead and cut out a couple of more pieces before we completed the stand. This way you guys know exactly where I'm gonna stop this video. Pretty much when all the gears are done. Anyway, let's go back to building our little stand here. And what we're gonna do is bring this little back piece and attach it in, but first, we need to grab some of our other pieces here that we have formed. Make sure that little loop there is going down as well. There we go. Now we're gonna place this guy right here in the back. And that rests right on top. Grab this guy here, and we're gonna try to line that up with the hole. Once the gear's in, I'm pretty happy. It's just putting that gear in first. These are not lined up, so let's get them lined up. There we go. That is not being my friend, that's for sure. Okay. There we go. All right, now we're lined up. Secure that. Secure that. And now we gotta grab these guys in here. Excellent. All right, that is our stand all constructed. Let's see if we still have good movement though. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It is getting harder to move though, I will say. It is getting a little bit harder to move. One thing I did forget to do uh, was cut the band, so I should have done this already. Um, it probably won't be too much of a problem, but um, 
Yeah, don't be me. Don't forget it. You definitely want to cut the band. I think I can get in right here. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, that was intense. Now look how free that moves. That's so much better. Yeah, just need to take that out of there. Okay, now we can move on to making our gears. Now these gears are pretty much the same thing we've done earlier. I've actually gone ahead and constructed one step pretty much all the way because it's the same thing all over. I'm gonna do the same thing here, but let's focus on the first one here so you get the idea of what we're doing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gears and we're gonna insert them three in here. Of course, we're doing it the long way. They only go in one way though. There we go. Three. And now we do one, two. One. And two. Pliers here. These guys get bent down. And these guys get curled. Now it's very important that we don't have any metal touching our teeth. We're gonna do this first. I'm kind of going about halfway in here and then doing a nice little turn. And that gives me that really nice S curve right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. There we go. You can see my little S there. That's what we're trying to achieve. Also what I'm gonna do now is just kind of repress these down. And I'm also going to press on the table a little bit just to make sure that this is as far down as possible. I really don't want any movement in my gears. There we go. That looks pretty good. They are a little bit off. So I'm gonna to try to fix that. There we go. Okay, there's our first one done. Now this one looks pretty similar to what we've done before. Take our main piece here. And then we're gonna take this little claw piece and place it towards the rear. Now hopefully this will fit in without any need of adjustment. I might have to doctor these pieces too. That stinks. Okay, tighten that down just a little bit. It looks a little crooked, but that's okay. Sorry for that jump. I had to make sure that everything got in there and it took a little bit of work to get those pieces together, but I did manage to get them by uh, snipping them down just a little bit. Nevertheless, there we go. Now there's one thing I did realize that I actually forgot to do with our stand and that's to put the supports here in the back and the key. So let's go back and do that real quickly. I'm gonna grab this little fin here. And the thing about this is you wanna make sure that the big side goes towards the inside of here. So we're gonna grab this, there we go. And all this does is just give a little bit more structural integrity. Excellent, okay, now that we got that, we can make our key. Our key is pretty simple to make. All we're doing is kind of placing these guys together, just like that, gives us a little bit of thickness and then we're gonna place these little spacers over it. It goes one big one. So there's the big one. Then it goes small one. I'm not entirely sure. I guess this just helps kind of keep it together as you're pushing it through. And now we locate this area here and we're gonna put the tooth in towards the gears. And now we're trying to put it in that little hole back there. There we go. And now we grab this little guy here. And now we gotta separate these two pieces and basically fold them down. So there's the one. There we go, there's our key. And this key just basically helps us stop the gears in place. And you can see like right now, that's off. We move it forward or we move it down, sorry. And that will allow the gears to spin freely. So uh, let's see if it actually works in concept here. There we go. That should be rock and rolling. There we go, yeah, that's rock and roll. So now if I put this way, it should stop it from moving. Yeah, see, no movement. So we open it like this, free movement. 
and we can actually like wind it up like a little bit. We'll do it like there. And then we can roll that down to a stop like that. And now it's locked. When we let go, boom, everything moves. That's great. Okay, so now that we have that completed, we have this little gear here. We have this little gear here. We got to make nine of these little guys. Now I went ahead and did this already um, because it's pretty repetitious, okay? So I'll show you how to do one and you should know how to do the others. All we're gonna do, take our little part here, insert it in. Then we're gonna flip it over, pull it up as best we possibly can. Now we wanna put a little bit of pressure on the back, but you wanna be careful not to pierce your glove or your hands, this can really hurt. And we're gonna fold these down on top, one, and two. Now what I'm trying to do is avoid any kind of, uh, what I'm trying to do is avoid tabs going into our teeth. So just make sure that if it goes there, you wanna just bend them out of the way. Uh, now we're gonna go to this side. I'm gonna go about halfway up on my tab and I'm gonna do a 90 degree bend, just like that. Again, we're gonna go about halfway on the tab and then we're gonna do a 180 degree bend, just like that. And then we can fold them in just a little bit, nice them, making them nice and square. There we go, nice and square. Okay, now we wanna make sure as little as movement as possible, so you might need to press on these just a little bit like that, move it over, do it again, boom. Excellent, there we go, okay. Now we got that one done. We do the same thing with the smaller ones, however, you're gonna be doing a lot of these guys. There's about 20 of them in total, and this is the 20th one that we're doing right now. Very similar to the last one we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our little tool here. We're gonna bend these little teeth down. And again, we wanna make sure they're not in the way of the pads. So I'm gonna put them in a little bit. And I'm still gonna make sure they're nice and flush with the gear. Coming to the other side, we're gonna grab about midway here again, and we're gonna doing that 180 degree bend. There we go. Finish it up a little bit like this. Excellent. Same thing with the other side. And just like the other one, we're gonna press down here, and we're gonna press down here. Excellent. No movement in the gear, and it looks like no movement in the gear, and it looks pretty good. Okay, there we go, 20 of them all complete. Now we move on to these little guys. And to be honest with you, I did have to file down one of them, but it seems like the other ones are going together okay, so. I don't know if there's like a little bit of a consistency problem through some of these steps. I'm pretty sure it's just the CNC process wasn't accurate with this particular measurement. But that, either way, these are really simple to do. Um, I'm going to show you how we do it. We're basically grabbing the main piece here, placing the square inside of its mark, flipping it over, grabbing the other piece here. I'm having a hard time getting it in there, but we did it. Boom. Now, once both pieces are in, we're gonna grab the gears and we're gonna insert them on both sides. They can only go in one way, so you'll see how they go. You need to have a little teeth there appear. And once you have a decent um, connection, you can go ahead and fold down the tabs just like that. Same thing like we've done with the other ones. Again, make sure they're not in the teeth area. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty good. I just want to make sure that we got the best connection possible. I think we do. Okay, now let's grab this little tab here. Excellent. I'm a little sus about that uh, this connection here, but it looks pretty good. It looks solid. It doesn't twist off. It doesn't break. So uh, I'm going to take it. That looks good to me. Now the difference between these two steps, this one here is longer than this one. So you wanna make sure you kinda of keep them separated, just, just for the record. I, I found that out the hard way, I accidentally mixed some pieces. So if you're doing this with me and you have them kind of all nulled out, just know this one's a little bit longer than this guy here. Same thing with the previous step, we're gonna grab this little piece here, and then we're gonna grab this guy. And what we're doing is we're kinda of putting this one on the opposite edge. So do you see how these guys kinda of look the same? We're basically just doing the opposite. So. There we go. Hold this one going easy. I don't think I had to chop this one. Yep, we're good. Now we're gonna fit this guy in here. 
it's nice to get them in the gear the gears in it's actually really nice when the gears go in there because it makes everything a little bit easier there we go we're doing more gears man these guys do not want to stay together what is that about all right let's do this push these guys down make sure they're nice and solid there we go I think that's actually pretty good I'm a little bit worried about them coming apart just because of how easily they did come apart but um, after securing both sides they do look like they have a nice connection so I'll place that back down there again understanding that these ones I believe are a little bit longer than these ones here okay now we have to make six of these guys now these ones are a little bit difficult to make because they come apart very easily with only one gear being on them these are going to be part of our engines I believe but I'm not entirely too sure yet let me show you how to build this last part here just like before we have our one little piece that uh, looks very similar to the other side. We're going to put this in here, though. Okay. And same thing on this side. Now we're just going to get this in here. Or do our best. Jeez, this is not wanting to go in. There we go. All right. Now that we have this inside, we're going to take these tabs and bend them over in place. But again, I find this one to be a little bit more challenging than the previous ones because we're not securing both sides. So, so don't be too worried if this falls apart on you. I know later we're going to be attaching more stuff onto it. So um, just get the gist of this done and I think it's okay. There we go. You can see how it already wants to come apart, but that's all right. Let's place it like this, very gently down. And just like that, my friends, we've completed the first part of the Ukrainian dream. This was a lot of gears, but pretty simple to put together overall so far. I'm really excited to see how all of this comes together. And if you are too, go ahead and press that like button. If you're new here, press subscribe too, as we've got all kinds of cool things coming out in the future. And I would love to have you there. Great job on building these parts that take a little bit of a break, just like me. And until next time, keep building.